Stay on your feet. Good defense. Good defense. Yup. Thank you. Way to play. Yup. Put your hands up, put your hands up. Get up, Jalen. Four zero right now. Number seven just scored. Hands up, box out, box out, box out. Stop reaching, stop gambling, B. Good block, boy. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Appreciate you, man. This shot, Glass. I'm in slow. Good free throw. Good defense. Ah, good job, boy. Good pass, good shot. Good job, boy. Hey, be ready for the press. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Thank you. Yes, keep rotating, keep rotating. Yeah. Yeah. That's money. Good shot. Shot. That's money. That's like bro, that's butter biscuits. Put out the butter. I go, I go, work, work, I go. Yep, dog food. Dog pound. Sorry, B. Sorry, it's the dog pound. It's Sue. Hey, we're good, we're good. Keep playing. Keep playing. Keep playing. Yeah, there you go. Put that shoe. Let's get it. Yo, get that boy. Ah, you good, B. Oh, Hell no. Nah. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, come here. Thank you. See me. See me. Good pass. Damn. Thank you. Sorry. Watch out. Whoa. He needs help. He needs help. Good ball control, boy. Good pass. Good pass. One more. Good pass. Good pass. Oh. Get back, back Jaden. Good pass. Good pass. Good pass. Ready for it, guys. Turn it off. Turn it off. Fast off. Play it up, ready. Fast off. Wide, 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 wide. Oh, come here. Oh. You got a rebound. Rebound! Good defense by yourself, Jalen. 
I don't know. Yeah, you don't even believe in that. Box out. Good board, Jaden. Mitty. Oh. Over the bat. Holy oh, shit. Box out. Hey, hey. Box out, fellas. Stop running away from the ball. Ah, damn. Hey, come to the ball. Good pass. Good pass. Good shot, Isaiah. Good shot, Isaiah. By yourself, Jaden. By yourself, Trey. Dive on it. Ew. Get out, get out. Pass. Whoa, we gotta keep moving it. Oh, yeah. Nope, no, we good. Oh yeah, yep, you see it, you see it. Oh, you're good. You come on, get it back, get it back. Get back, just get back, B. Good defense, Isaiah. Thanks. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, I got the pain, B. Three seconds. Close out, close out. Box out. Y'all gotta box out, man. Pace. Pace! Knock it down, B. The shot. Get back, B. Get back, B. Ball. Good move, Brody. You're good, you're good. Pace, pace. Oh my fucking God. Oh my God. Come on, chill, chill, chill. Isaiah. Defense. 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 Box out. Box out. Travel. Travel. Thank you, Mr. Ref. Don't be scared to come to the ball. Look down, look down. 
Don't be scared to come to the ball. Yup. There we go. That's how we break it. That's how we break it. Just like that. Our pace. Our pace. Max, our pace. Our pace. Thank you. Hey, don't be scared to come to it. You're good. Wolf. Another? Hey, but we don't need fast three, so. Oh my God. Our pace, our pace. Good shot, B. That's a great shot. Get us, yep, yep, thank you, thank you. Good shot again. Gotta get the board, gotta get the board. The pass, good shot again. That's all right, get the board. Good shot again, money. Put your hands up, Trey. The rebound, the rebound. What's the problem, what's the problem, what's the problem? Wow, Mr. Ref, that's nice. Why you up, Isaiah? Left, left, left! You're good. Trey, you got to get out there. Good box out. Grab it. The pass. All the way. Left hand. Good shot. Watch that screen. Watch that screen. Watch that screen. Hey, Jail, you got two. Isaiah, you got one behind you. Rotate, Trey. Uh, thank you. Watch out, Wolf! Yup, yup. I'm going to the moon. I'm going to the moon. Yeah. Money. What the fuck? Oh. Oh wow. Wow. Good move, good lay, good lay. Good trap, good trap. Yes, somebody's got a trap. Oh, oh, watch out, you're good. Yep, pace, good job, Trey. Good pass, good shot. Good job, B. Defense. Defense. Ah, damn. Stop running from it. Wolf, Wolf. There we go. Oh. Yeah, I ain't lie. You could have pulled that one, Trey. No cap. I would have been all right with that. Uh. By yourself, Trey. Good, Jaden. Get back, Jaden. Get back. Just get back, Jaden. Yeah, Trey. Good job, Trey. No, 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 no. Good job, Jaden. The pack. Good pass, good pass. Let's get back, Brandon. You're good. Let's get back. Let's go, Brody. Intensity. Good job, Brandon. Good pass. What up?
missed the first one. Okay, he made the second one. Good, good, good. By yourself, Isaiah. Defense. 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 Bro, you gotta put a hand up. Swing it, swing it, swing it! You gotta swing it! <laughs> Brody, 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 you have to, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta step up. You gotta step up, Brody. Stop leaving! Oh God, oh God. Good call, yes sir, rep. Be patient. Wait, be patient. Shot, Trey. No need. Good time. Good time. Get back in it. Get back in it. Hey, defense. Bite yourself, Jalen. Defense. Right. Hey, defense. 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 Pass and cut. Pass and cut. Yeah, nah, he. Oh, you got, you got to play. You got to play. You just got to play. You got to play. That's not a foul. That's not a foul. Thanks. Come to the ball. Wait, wait. There you go. I like it. In his mouth. Pause. Come on. Hey, 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 Shoot, Isaiah. Defense. 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 What? Oh, oh my God. Grab the ball. There you go. Wolf, wolf. Good B, yep. Good pass. Aggressive, 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 aggressive. Thank you. Why are we why why are we taking layups like that? He don't need the ball. Come on. Come to the ball. Come to the ball. Come to the ball, please. You got 10 seconds. You don't gotta shoot it. 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 You don't have to shoot it. You don't have to shoot it. You shot the last three possessions, Trey. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? Thank you, ref. Thank you. No, 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 no. You was backcourt. It's all right. It's all right, gang. You was backcourt. Yeah, he's back for it like crazy. You knew it. It's on C. The pass, the shot. Sorry. The ball. No, hey, 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 hey. 
Yeah, he's tired. You want the ball? Play a pace. Look up, look up, look up, look up! Come on, man, we got a hoop. We just got a hoop. We got a hoop. No, 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 no. Get back, Jalen, get back, get back. Oh, dive on it. You got to dive on that. Hey, he don't want it. Trey, you just looking. Max, you playing so lazy right now. Oh, my God. Move around, move around. Good shot. Good shot, boy. There you go. Why you stop, Isaiah? Right. You're good, Brody. You're good, Brody. Gotta box out. Gotta box out. Gotta box out. Yep. Wolf. Wolf. Yeah, you see it. Oh yeah. Tracy. Yeah. Oh, good shot, Brody. Hello. Right, right, you good? Hands up, hands up. By yourself. Good block. Ah, oh, good effort, good job, Glass. By yourself, Wolf. Move, move around. We, 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 we don't, we don't, we don't. We gotta make a layup, we gotta make a layup. Oh, oh. Keep throwing that pass, y'all not recognizing it. Help him rebound. Thank you. Go, oh. Ooh. Good move. Oh my God. Good move, though. Hey, Great, 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 great. No, you're not getting that. Got the floor. Get back. Hey, set him one. Set him one, Glass. Set him one. Set and roll. Never mind. Good rebound. Go up. Okay. Go up. Good job, boy. Good shot, Brody. The pass, Trey. Good rebound. You guys go stronger than that. Hey, what are we doing? Y'all gave up. Y'all gave up. Keep playing. You shot a three. And you shot a three. You, you shot a three. Come on, man. Thanks. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Wow. 
Y'all was, y'all was gonna try it? Wow. How we doing, families? Well, right now I'm watching out for the snakes, alligators, and all that. But of course, you know, I'm out here just residing in peace. You know, residing in my own, my own heaven, I can say. But I'm gonna sit down real quick, kick it with y'all, man. You know, the one thing I will say from this experience so far is like, oh, trying that cinema. Hold on, let me try to get that cinema. Nah, it ain't gonna work like this though. But the one thing I noticed or I learned is that, man, no matter what, <laughs> don't ever let life smack you in the mouth. Cause that's basically what happened, you know, within that second game, or not in that second game, but the third game we played. And of course, you know, for the people who don't like talking a lot or yapping, whatever the case may be, just know I'm a god at that. So either way it goes, I'm speaking some real shit. It's like, it's not just to waste your time, just giving you the, the rundown like most coaches or what most older people do or what most elders will do. Like, I'm not here to talk your ear off, but I'm here to talk to your spirit or your ego. So it's like, if you comprehend this, cool by all means, but if not, it is what it is. But for all the young players out there, for all the young men and women out there, even though I do coach young young men, but I also coach women as well because we're all together, we're all one. When it comes down to life, whenever life smacks you in the mouth, whenever life, whenever your life throws just basically bullshit, it's just a profanity, but whenever life just throws bullshit at you, you cannot sit there and expect a man or a woman to help you up when you're not down. You have to be able to pick yourself up when nobody else is helping themselves up as well. And when they're down as well in their life, you can't expect them to even help themselves when they are down because a lot of people are already down themselves already. So how would it make sense for somebody to help you up when they can't, when they can They just literally can't help themselves up because they don't have what it takes to even want to build for something better for their future. But you have the opportunity and you're expecting somebody to give you a hand now just because you fell down. No get back up because the only thing elders are due they're basically a lesson for what you could be what you should be what you should not be what you can be what you are or what you will be but it's up to you to pick whatever program that you want it's whatever you it's up to you to pick whatever lifestyle that you want to live because nobody else can live this life but you and life is nothing but an experience and you are who you hang around you are a product of your environment and if you are content with just being lazy and not giving 100% effort in your life, then of course, don't be surprised when you don't, when things don't go your way for the future. And that's the thing, we're so busy stuck on the now that a lot of people are not really focused on their future. And that's what's gonna hurt you in the current moment right now because you're too stuck in the present to where you're not realizing real time on what you should be doing with your life. You're not realizing the things you can be accomplishing outside of being lazy or being content with yourself and that's the whole thing for it you know because a lot of people out here they're too busy not understanding that you know your mistakes you not being able to be a leader you being you know you following the leader all these things are they're showing you right now especially if you're a young person they're showing you how <laughs> If you keep on doing these things, you're going to hurt yourself in the future. And if nobody tells you this shit, everybody wants to be a yes man around you. How are you going to find out what a real nigga is? How are you going to find out who a real person is when everybody wants to just cheer you on when you're doing stupid shit? It's like a lot of people think that shit is funny or think that life is a game or life is a joke. And they always want to joke around or laugh around. If you're a teenager, if you're a young adult, it don't matter if you're a kid. There are times where you can't have fun. There are times to where... You can't enjoy yourself. Nobody's telling you not to enjoy yourself, but there are times that you should do things and when you shouldn't do things. But you gotta be able to understand that it, when, when somebody's, like when a coach is talking to you, trying to get you to understand something, at that moment, you're not right, even though you are wrong. But even though you're wrong, you're still right. You have to be able to just to take criticism and just say yes, sir, and yes, ma'am, because this is how you're able to show maturity and being able to be a leader because when you are a leader, it's always your fault. That's how leaders are born. As leaders, we are always going to know that it's always our fault, even when it's not. Why? That's how you take accountability for yourself and it just helps build character development for your character because all we are living in is vessels. So because we're living in vessels, some people do have different 
scripts planned out for their life before they're even born. Meaning that once you're born into this world, you gotta understand that most people have a certain obstacle that they are going through for them to grow into the person that they were meant to be. So some people are meant to be leaders and some people are meant to born, some people are meant to be born into a lifestyle to where they're submissive to leaders. That's just how things go and it's just a circle of life and you cannot really help that. But what you can help is your leadership into yourself and other people as well. The whole point as we grow up is, you know, we don't always have to be that player that's always talking back, always being mischievous, always being deceitful, always giving coaches, your parents a hard time because when you get 18, 20, 22, 25, 30, those things catch up to you. And it's like, you have to be able to just have fun, of course, right now in this moment. But as you keep getting older, the childish shit that some of y'all do in this generation, is really going to cause you not to want to grow up as a man or a woman. And especially to my young men out there, you gotta be able to understand if you can't grow up as a man, you're going to have a hard time in life as a man. And you're not going to be able to reflect on these things when the moment happens because it's going to hit you like a train. And when it hits you, it, it's going to hurt you not only to the point to where you sit back and look at these times right now when you were young, but you got to be able to understand that as you're young right now, be smart, but have fun. That's all life is about. Nobody's telling you that you should act a certain way or be programmed to be like a soldier or like a soldier for a basketball. Like, no, when it comes to any sport, don't fly near me. When it comes to any sport, even in life in general, forget about a sport. When it comes to life, if somebody tells you to do something, it's not out of like, you know, controlling you or saying like, I'm the boss to you, even though that's how some people feel, but you gotta be open-minded to how some people are actually talking to you and guiding you. Because a lot of people are literally just guiding you to the water, but they'll never make you drink that. And that's what we have to understand what guides are, what teachers are, what false prophets are, what false teachers are, all these people are nothing but people guiding you into cheat codes. And you have to be able to be awakened into what cheat codes are. And a lot of people aren't awake to that, no matter what age. And it doesn't matter how young you are, how old you are, you gotta understand that at the order that somebody is giving you advice to whatever extent that is, whatever number that is, you have to be able to wanna to take that advice and then you make it your own or you run with it, it's up to you. But you gotta be able to contradict everything in this world. And no matter what, play your hardest in anything that you do, especially if you're an athlete, because this video is basically for the athletes as well, but this goes for anybody. It doesn't matter if you're shit, a carpenter, or architect, if you're an artist, you know, you're a gardener. It doesn't matter if you are a roof installer. It doesn't matter if you are a HVAC licensed person. Like, list goes on and on, right? It doesn't matter. what You can be a fucking a lash tech, nail tech, you get it. It doesn't matter what it is. Go hard in it because you remember, like, you're really in the times that you pray for. Not only that, your parents pray for you to be in these times like this or they spoke to the universe for you to be in this situation right now. So you're basically living out your past prayers and you're making them your own by building up a foundation for yourself. So it's like, you gotta make sure no matter what you're going through, stop complaining because somebody is living a life that they wish they could switch places with. Like, they wish that they could switch a life with you. You know, like there's nothing for any of us to be ungrateful for because life is nothing but an experience anyways. It's a temporary dream. So as we're all dreaming, just make sure you make your dreams your reality. If you want to get your mom or your dad out of this place or you want to get yourself out of this place, do whatever you can to get yourself out. Like there you like when it, I gotta stop saying that too. But for your life, if you are that hungry to change your circumstances, you would do whatever it takes to change your circumstance. Now, I'm not saying that you have to bend over backwards for your superior or anything like that, but you'll do whatever it takes to be consistent. You have to consistently be awake in order to be awake. That's just a common sense line when it comes down to it. You have to consciously, actually you have to continuously or consistently be unconscious or practice unconscious ways to the point to where you are so unconscious that you actually forgot how unconscious you are. And you've been practicing that program for so long that you're not awake to it anymore. Which is why every single day you have to want to use common sense. You have to want to know that your actions can bring consequences to whatever it is that you're doing. So you can't be surprised whenever life smacks you in the fucking teeth. Cause it's like, think about what you did in the past. What goes around comes around no matter what. And you want to always be able to avoid that spirit. Avoid that spirit. Because when life does whip our ass, we always want to complain, we always want to cry. And it's like, the universe does not care about your feelings. So when you're in the game and you fall down and the ref doesn't call a call, don't look at the ref or don't look at the coach. It's like, coach, they hit me, I failed. Get the fuck up. Because if you want to play at the next level for any sport, 
if you want to play at the next level, what makes you think that your coach is going to be able to help you up on the floor? No, you are a player playing for a reason. You're meant to be playing this game so that you can play with your mind because your mind is being manipulated to think that you're getting knocked down and that you're going to get this foul. No, the ref does not have to give you any call if they don't want to. On top of that, they're as they're refing the game, they're on paid time, like paid leave damn near. But as they're paid on this time limit, they don't want to be there all day. So a lot of times, too, they depend, like depending on what game it is, they'll give you certain calls depending on how hard you're playing. But if you're looking for a call at this age, at 16, 17, 18 years old, like they're not going to give you that shit, especially when you go to college or even just overseas in general, like the pros. Like refs don't have to give you that shit. Like you're a grown man. So it's like, unless it's like a blatant foul to where it's like, damn, I got to call that. That's when, but like, it just depends on who you are as a person. But if you're going and looking for a call, don't expect the ref to give you a call. It just makes no sense. Stop playing like a pussy. Stop playing like a hoe. No matter who you are, I don't care if you're a man or a woman. Like, you need to grow some balls. And like, if you get if you get knocked down, get right back up. Get right back up. That's what sports should teach you, just to get right back up. That's how strong you are. Whenever people talk down on you or your family. Man, uplift them, pick them up. It doesn't matter if you have to fight your way to that respect or if you got to talk your way into that respect. Let people know what it is without even letting them know what it is because what is it? You don't have to tell them what it is because they know when they look at you. So as they look at you, they should know, don't play with me. Like, give me this call, deserve this shit. And if you don't get that shit, demand that call. Like, keep going into that paint aggressive. Keep being like, keep figuring out ways to go into the contact. Don't shy away from a contact sport. Like, it's basketball, it's football. Like, it's boxing. These things are contact sports. You can't shy away from getting hit. Because when you get hit in the mouth in real life, you, are you going to shy away from that and run away from your problems? No, you have to face them as a man and as a woman, no matter how scary it is. Keep facing your problems. And honestly, I just wanted to go ahead and say that I get that off my chest and on my mind. Well, that's off my mind as well. But right now it's Sunday. You know, I'm just enjoying the views. Just chilling right now at this moment, just in my zen. But I just wanted to help somebody out there realize that it's all in your mind. You know, your ego is manipulating you for a reason, for a temporary time. So don't make it seem like, just don't make it seem like it's harder than what it is. Just play the game, have fun. On top of that, when it comes to life, play the game, have fun, because life is a game. Like my mind thinks that I'm actually looking at this lake or this pond, whatever you want to call this body of water right here. My mind thinks that I'm, sitting in grass my mind thinks that i'm in the sun right now my mind just thinks that my body thinks that but what i know is i feel heavenly sitting here in this grass enjoying this moment and that's what we all have to find when we elevate in life no matter how young you are never stop working even if you're on vacation it's a business trip for a reason we always working you got families to feed you got mouths to feed you got people that look up to you never stop working because you never know what can happen when you're consistent and your consistency. Even if the whole world gives up on you, never give up on, never give up on yourself. The moment you do that, you have failed and you're not a failure. Yeah, but even if you are a failure, you're not failing. You just think that you're actually failing because you failed for a temporary time. You're not a failure. And if people call you that, they're, they're projecting. But tomorrow is our last game. And it's just basically a part two it's a part two, excuse me. It's a part two right now. But I appreciate y'all for watching. And thank you for enjoying this experience with me. You know, I have no idea what I'm doing. But I'm enjoying every moment of it. Because even though I have no idea what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing for sure. And this is bigger than me. I just know that Almighty God uses me as a vessel to guide kids to the water, not make them drink. And that's all I care about because it's bigger than us. And I want my team to be better than me. And even if they aren't better than me, they're still better than me, no matter what. I appreciate every single one of them, man. Teenagers as well, adults, I just appreciate everybody. And these moments have definitely helped me become a man for sure. Because I love kids. Like they're just so divine and so innocent. Before the world gets a hold on them, you know, I just want to make sure that, that when they grow up, they'll be ready. Because life is, life is going to life. Our choices will hinder our life as well, but it will also elevate us. I'm just thankful for the experience. I appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Part three coming tomorrow. But 
I'm just going to go out here and enjoy some heaven, man. So thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all. I'm gone.